the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, the grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday we talked about Mary as the mother of God, for indeed she is, as we hear in that beautiful Angelus prayer, which we just prayed together. Uh, Mary is the mother of God. She conceived by the Holy Spirit and gave birth to the Son. But as mother of God, we now can venerate her under a new title, Mother of the Church. She becomes our mother. Right? Jesus gives us this great gift in giving Mary to us as our mother. That, that beautiful interaction that happens at the cross, right? Jesus looks down from his cross at Mary and the beloved disciple, St. John. And he says, woman, behold your son. To St. John, he says, behold your mother. And he's saying that indeed to all of us. In John, Mary becomes the mother of all humanity. She who now uh, lives in eternity with our triune God still cares for us like a mother. She prays for us, she guides us, she protects us, and she loves us. I'm always fascinated too reading the Acts of the Apostles. We hear about the, the Apostles being gathered uh, with Mary, the mother of Jesus. And I would love to have been a fly on the wall. What were those interactions like? What were the conversations like? What did they ask her about Jesus' childhood? What did she say? Uh, what stories were shared? What memories and, and what prayers were offered too? And God believed that they grasped the, the, uh, the greatness of her intercession. She still in their midst um, in a physical way. They go to Mary, say, we know, uh, though of course we know he's with us still in our hearts, Jesus is still present to us, especially as we celebrate the Eucharist, as he told them, do this in memory of me. Did they go to Mary and say, you who are his mother, pray for us, please speak to your son on our behalf. We can do the same. Mary is our mother, mother of the church. And indeed, that's us, the members of the mystical body of Christ, the church. So that's what we're doing now. When we pray, when we pray the rosary, when we pray the Angelus, we're not praying in worship of Mary. We're praying through her intercession to our loving God. What's the best way to get to someone? Go through his mother. And indeed, that's what we do when we turn to Mary, she who is now our mother also. Uh, so let's pray together uh, this decade of the rosary, praying also those beautiful prayers that Pope Francis has offered to us and asked us to pray during the month of May, the month of Our Lady, Our Mother. Uh, and let's make this part of our lives, maybe you already do. Maybe you pray a rosary every day or a decade of the rosary every day. Uh, maybe if you have children, you do it with your children. How beautiful that is when a family comes together and prays, especially the example of an earthly mother turning to our heavenly mother's intercession can change a child's life. So if you don't do that already, might I suggest making that a part of your life, part of your routine. Indeed, each of us uh, has nothing to lose and everything to gain by turning to the love and the intercession of Mary, 
our mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who, at the foot of the cross, were united with Jesus, suffering and persevered in your faith. Protectress of the Roman people and Our Lady of New York, you know our needs. We know that you will provide so that, as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. In the present tragic situation, when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes toward us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who've died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who, in order to prevent the spread of the disease, cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. O Mother of God and our Mother, Pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your divine Son as you did at Cana so that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted and their hearts be opened to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, health care workers, and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity, and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who, in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel, are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research, that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that, with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, 
They may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by farsightedness and solidarity. Mary, most holy, stir our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will invest instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that, in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity, we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service, constant in prayer. Mary, consolation of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do we entrust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, pray for us. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.